Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's much working on Wednesday. Today, I started a new emigrumi this morning. Uh, I got up before the boys did, so I just sat in the living room and was relaxing until I woke up. And then I went ahead and started on this emigrumi. Uh, it is from Olive's new book, Plenty of Efficiency, from Stringy Ding Ding. I'll link all her information down below. But I finally started Jessie's Well Shark. So this is the one that I started. And I got a good amount of it done this morning. Not quite half, but getting there. <laughs> so, um, the, the colors he picked out were funky ones, <laughs> which is what I told you guys last uh, time I talked about it. But it has two colors to it. It's the inside of its mouth and then its body. Well, the inside of its, oops, no one. <laughs> inside of its mouth in the pattern is pink and then it's got like a pale blue body. Jesse chose bright green <laughs> and a blue variegated for the body. So, but it, it actually looks good together right now. Uh, as I was making it, I think the colors actually go good together. So, we'll see. He'll just have a weird green mouth. <laughs> but the body color is Olive Charm print. It's got, um, Make Noise for Turquoise. So, it is a variegated, but it's like a, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, like, it's got different colors mixed in with the whole thing. It's not like stripes or anything. So, that's the body color. And the mouth color is, um... Red Heart Glow Worm. So it's super bright green. <laughs> so this is what I got so far of it. It's being washed out. It's a lot brighter in real life. But my light's not the best. But this is the inside of its mouth. And it'll actually be tucked in. Once I'm ready to stuff it like that. So that's his mouth. And then he'll have eyes. And uh, his body. So that's him so far. <laughs> but I actually think the colors go good together. I think he did a good job picking out. He seems to be really good at picking out colors that go good together, even when you think they won't. But, um, yeah, so I'm working on this this morning. I am using a bigger hook this time because I only had one of my hook bags sitting beside me on the couch, and I was lazy this morning. <laughs> and uh, it calls for a 4 millimeter, which is a G, and uh, I didn't have one in the hook bag that I was using, so I have a 4.5. So it's a number 7. It's in between a G and an H. Uh, but it's working so far. There's no big holes or anything. I'm trying to use uh, looser tension. Uh, this here's a chain, and I always stink at making the chains tight. So I usually, with these these patterns that have the chain that start, I'll usually go back with the color and like fill in the holes. Because <laughs> um, I always have big holes in the chains like that. And yeah, so there's the whale shark so far. <laughs> He's looking pretty good. I just finished the biggest part of his body. After that, it looks like it's decreasing. Yeah, you decrease it, and then you stuff it, and then you decrease it all the way down. And then I gotta make the arm fins, the fin on the top of its head, and then two smaller fins for its back and its belly, and then the tail fins. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little fins I gotta make, and so on to it. And then it'll be done. So that's going to be pretty big, like the shark, which is good, because Jesse relaxes the shark. But it's going to be cute. So here, here it is, <laughs> his mouth. I've never made one with an open mouth before. I have patterns for things with open mouths. And actually, the Happy Gurumi book, that was at Dollar Tree, and also was cheap on Amazon for a while. Um, has a few that has open mouths. So that's pretty cool. I love these patterns in this book, this book though, because they're all fairly short, you know, and they're simple. Like, you can easily make them in just a day. So, after this one, I'll let Jesse pick out another little critter. Let me go to the table of contents. I don't know what he'll pick out this time. Maybe the dolphin. There's the, all the patterns that's in the book. I've made a lot of these already. Let's see, I've made the octopus, the crab, the manatee. The ice cream narwhal, the squid, the shark, the turtle, I'm working on the whale shark. I've made the dumbbell octopus and the jellyfish. <laughs> so that's why one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm, I've made half of them. <laughs> I want to make the little clam because it's super cute. And I want to make the little axolotl because Jesse loves axolotls. I want to make the seahorse for myself, but Jesse will probably steal it. I want to make the pufferfish. I want to make them all. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'll let Jesse pick out 
Uh, and we'll probably just, I'll just let him keep picking out until I make everything that's in here. <laughs> and then I'm going to start over again because I absolutely love her patterns. And um, she put out a couple Christmas patterns recently and I went and downloaded them right away. Uh, I'm a member of her membership. So every time she puts out a new pattern, the members get it for free. You know, technically you pay $6 a month to be a member. But still, because she puts out so many patterns, it's totally worth it. Plus, she's got other content and videos and stuff that are for members only. So, definitely check that out if you're interested in amigurumis. Because <laughs> uh, I love amigurumis. It's one of my favorite things to make. But, um, yeah. So, that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. <laughs> so, in a little while, we're leaving to go to my sister's house. Well, we gotta go get gas and stuff first. And I gotta remember to pick up some milk today to make pudding with. <laughs> but, um, and then we're gonna go to my sister's house. We're gonna be there for a while. And then we'll come back home. And then I'll work on this some more. I won't take crochet with me because we're planning on playing board games and stuff. So I won't have free time to just sit around and crochet. But I will work on that some more later today and try to get it finished up in the next few days. Because I like to get my amigurumis done quick because it's fun to see the finished project. But yeah, so let me know down below what you guys are working on. Feel free to share any links or books or patterns or people, <laughs> anything like that. And um, let me know because I like checking out other patterns and I know other people do too. I love this book so much. I'm looking so forward to if she puts out more books in the future. Because I will definitely be first in line to buy them. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'll leave the links below for her website and all that if you want to check it out and her membership thing and all that. And I guess that's it. I'm going to hop off here and get this up. Because we'll be leaving in a little while. I think it's around 9 right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> and um, my sister lives kind of a little ways away from us. We do got to get gas first. And I got to go to the post office and drop off uh, Beverly's yarn swap and I think that's it that I gotta do today other than like house stuff <laughs> but anyways I will catch up with you guys tomorrow in another video probably be a vlog um I'll probably take some clips today at my sister's and then I'll take some tomorrow at my in-laws and then I'll just smoosh them together and make one Thanksgiving vlog and uh yeah I guess that's about it I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video I guess